What are you wearing today? My prized possession. Vintage military. Turns into a pillow as well. A little sun pin for the beautiful day that we're having. This is what we're wearing today. Got this vintage car hat on, this vintage Seinfeld hat. Got this polo utility jacket. And some new balance. Today I'm wearing a kite coat. Um, I feel like this is from Target. Little t-shirt. Uh, pants are from Koss. Shoes are Kendall Miles. And the bag is Fendi. Oh, chill. I love this coat today. Thank you. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, I shop a lot, you know, <laughs> and then I shop in my closet. You just gotta put stuff together, try it out, see how it goes together, how it can be more versatile. For sure. So I just do that. So I get, you know, my cost per per wear. I love that. What do you do for a job? I make shoes. What kind of shoes? I make high heels, like red carpet um, types of shoes in Italy. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Is this your brand or? Yeah. What's it called? Kendall Miles. And you're Kendall? I'm Kendall. Nice to meet you, Kendall. <laughs> nice to meet you. And one of the questions is, what is your biggest goal? To get married, actually. Are you engaged? Almost. Okay. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> We're manifesting. Awesome. Oh, cool. Thanks. Take Have a good care. Day. What up, y'all? It's been so nice in New York, but now it's kind of cold. March is so unpredictable in the city. I'm just out here to get you guys a quick episode. See what people are wearing. What are you wearing today? Um, today nothing crazy. I got this. These are thrifted. Camo, um, Nike flats, it's Prada puffer, and thrifted bag. Cool. Yeah. I like your color assortment today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Honestly, just like walking around New York. Everyone here always just like looks so good. You know, just by looking around, you can find a lot of inspiration. For sure. What do you do for a job? Um, I work in fashion and I work in film. What is one piece of advice you give to a younger version of yourself? I guess don't be afraid of what other people think, you know, because essentially it's like your life. You're living for yourself and not for others. So like wear whatever you want whatever you want mm -hmm. yeah i love that so something i do is i give people a two dollar bill <laughs> having nice style wait that's sick thank you yeah. shout out thank you for the two dollar bill you. this hat is from todd snyder from a company called japanese company called cable ami vintage military jacket my favorite jeans from um, black horse lane in london and rubenacci shoes and uh my glasses are, I think they're um, they're the Dylans by um, Jacques Marie Maj. Cool. Yeah. I love your outfit today. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I like yours too. Thank you. Where do you get your style inspiration from? It's just you know the gray matter between my ears. I don't really have a inspiration. It's just I wake up and uh, this is what I came out of the apartment looking like today. I own a a management company. So we represent people and uh, fashion and beauty. What is one piece of advice you'd give to a younger version of yourself? Stay true to whoever you are. That's my that's my two cents, you know? To whoever you are, especially now when you have access to everything, still stay true to who you are, because otherwise you end up looking like everybody else. I love that. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. What is your name? What are you wearing today? I'm wearing Givenchy, Sakai. Givenchy as well, and this is Sakai as well. That's really cool. Yeah. Is it like a camo? Yeah, camo brand. Oh, sweet. Yeah. What do you do for a job? I'm a medical esthetician. I own a business. Where do you get your style inspiration from? You know, I think it's just age, just knowing what <laughs> feels comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I actually don't like to shop, so I'm, you know, comfortable in street clothes. What is something that you're grateful for? My four children and my husband. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. Take care. <laughs> what are you wearing today? Um, I actually have no idea the brand. Yeah, I bought it in Hong Kong in a vintage So, But it's really cool because you can remove the... the what is this called? The sleeve. The sleeve, you can remove it, yeah. Oh, it's good for like spring weather. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Uh, I just like the 70s, you know, rock and roll 70s. Yeah. What do you do for a job? I take pictures. I'm starting a fashion brand, so. Oh, nice. One more question. Yeah. What is something you're grateful for? I'm grateful for my family. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Little thing. What, do you have your Instagram yet? This merchandise has been stolen from Jay, formerly known as Kanye West. So why you love with a way?
Just can't seem to understand Thought it was me and you, baby I just believe So what are you? A believer Uh, man, I just believe you know? Thought it was me and you, baby Me and you until the end But I guess I was wrong Sing it with me Today. Hi, um, I'm wearing C New York. Um, this is like my prized possession. It's my favorite jacket ever. Um, and then a pair of thrifted trousers, my Solomons, and then just a Nordstrom sweater. Yeah. This looks so cozy. Thank you. I know. We're having some chilly weather today, so right. I'm going back into my winter mode a little bit. What do you do for a job? Um, I work in advertising. All right. Yeah. My favorite like style inspo is uh, Mickey from a show called Love. She like wears a lot of vintage stuff. Okay. Very uh, eclectic. A random one, but someone I always go back to. I'm grateful that I live in a walkable city. That I'm coming from work, I'm walking, I'm getting my steps in. Awesome. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. What are you wearing today? Sorry? What are you wearing today? Today it's a Yves Saint Laurent Sacco. We have the sweater is from uh, Acne. Trousers is from Sara. And shoes are from Gucci. Beautiful. Where do you get your style inspiration from? I don't know. It's, I live a long time in Milan. so And I like to do fashion. What do you do for a job? I'm a designer. But not for fashion. No, no, no. I'm for, for brands. Interior and brands. I'm based in Berlin. And I have my own studio, White Studios in Berlin. And we are creating brands. So for example, we make restaurants from the corporate design till the interior. So all you see, we do. What is your biggest goal? This year? Yes. Yeah, because I'm also start to draw and being an artist, I want to make an exhibition this year. My first own exhibition. This is my biggest goal for this year. Oh, yes. wow, I love yeah. that. Yeah, me too. Mostly drawing or any type of certain art? No, yeah, like acrylic and, and on, on canvas. So like abstract, big size. Awesome. Huh. Thank yeah, you. Have you ever had a two dollar bill before? No, never. <laughs> it's interesting. Put it in your wallet and don't spend it. I will do so. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Take care. In my conversations with everyday people on the street, one thing that stands out is the crucial role in skill development and achieving their dreams. And speaking of honing skills, if you're like me, always trying to elevate your game, then you gotta check out Skillshare. It's the largest online learning community for creatives covering everything from illustration and marketing to music and productivity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just diving into a new hobby, Skillshare has something for everyone with curated learning paths designed for all levels and interests. Everything you need is in one place, providing clear direction to achieve your goals. The best part is Skillshare is an on-demand platform where you learn at your own pace, saving you time and hassle searching for quality content. Recently, I immersed myself in the Grow Your First YouTube channel learning path to polish up my skills, and I gained some valuable insights Insights into audience engagement and video editing techniques. Oh, and did I mention the first 500 people to use my link get a one month free trial? So click the link below, level up your skills, and join me on this creative journey. Also, a special shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a vintage liner, Calvin Klein overalls, my roommate's vintage sweater. I don't know, it's like itchy. <laughs> a tank top, Louis glasses. My last resort shoes. This necklace is from Susan Alexandra in the Lower East Side. You can buy all the charms, different okay. initials. I like your outfit. Thank you. Very cool. Where did you get your style inspiration from? Actually, one of my uh, neighbors. Um, she's a fashion designer and she wears a lot of like army inspired stuff and a lot of secondhand stuff. And I've always loved secondhand, so mm -hmm. a lot of different influences, but most recently my neighbor. If you give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Nothing because everything happens for a reason. I like that. <laughs> Just like wouldn't change anything. Hold on, Thank I have you. one more thing I want to show you. It's so nice. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Thank you. Prince Street Pizza. I haven't had the spicy pepperoni on a cold day, so I figured I'd try it out. I'm the only one out here today. You usually don't get that Prince Street. Usually there's a line down the block, so today's a good day. <coughs> Confirmed. <coughs> Still spicy. The spicy pepperoni is simply loaded. Some of you know I've been to Prince Street before. I just had to confirm it was still as good as I remember. It's confirmed. Obviously it's different than the classic New York thin slice. But if you're gonna go somewhere where you get something a little different, I'd recommend Prince Street. I'm gonna rate this out of five Ralphs. Ralph is the name of my dog. 4.9 Ralphs. 
Right, let's go up here. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a big old cloud that lives right there. Oh, this is the fun part. He just sort of floats across the sky. There we go. Told you we was gonna make a big cloud today. This is gonna be a big cloud. There we go. Little tiny circles here. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Head on down. Let that brush just dance around there and play. Putting in all kinds of gorgeous little things that just float around. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you too enjoy painting along. God bless. And I'll see you next time. He just sort of floats across the sky. Right there. What are you wearing today? Uh, today I'm wearing my work uniform. Um, it's a capital jacket. It turns into a pillow as well. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's sick. Yeah. <laughs> the hat, um, it's a Zara hat that I just, I got these pins from like auditions and I just started doing it. So, what do you work at? Uh, right now, I just do freelance, um, working at different stores. From greeting to just got into doing part time, like sales, like through an app. So, so I'm kind of excited about this. That's what's up. Apart from that, uh, acting as well. Alright. And where are you from? I'm from Mali originally, but I, I grew up in the city. I grew up all over. Style inspiration. Uh, I just wake up uh, how I feel, basically. Mm -hmm. Look at the weather. But the New York weather, you can't trust that. Day, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. know what's going on. Most of the time, it's just vibes, really. Okay. Good energy. Yeah. Grateful to be able to do what I like. I'm grateful to be here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. I love that. But that's what's up, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you, Take bro. Take care, brother. Appreciate it. What are you wearing today? I feel giving full babushka unintentionally. Pants are Jacquemus, shoes are camper. Uh, the jacket is Bodhi, and the scarf is something my wife got in Thailand that I stole from her this morning. Bags Marty. This jacket's so cool. I know, it's, I feel like it's a really good one. I wear it every single day. They're all one of one. The like shapes of them are also a little different. I love that this one like had these like little buttons with like the tiny tabs. I feel like I love like, Anything that's like warm, like warm tones, earthy, cozy, gravitate to same shapes over and over, and then just like whatever texture feels good on top of that. I'm a tattoo artist. I work uh, just up on Bowery. Nice. How long have you been doing that for? I think this summer will be nine years. I love living here. I'm like so grateful to live in New York. I've been here 13 years now, and I feel like I'm like, yeah, just grateful for it and like my community here every day. Love that. Oh, sick. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Welcome to you on this video visit to New York City. Like, um, Glasses, Oakley. I actually got them South by Southwest. So I left them at the Airbnb. <laughs> we were checking out. I was like, all right, these are mine now. Uh, jacket, Wana Japan. My boy Nice in Harlem. Shout out Nice. He actually hooked me up with this. Got this at a thrift store from my homegirl Gizmo's vintage shop, uh, the Clarks. This is a Clark Sweet Shit collab that they did. I like colors, man. I like bright colors. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Yeah, I'm African by nature, by, by birth, so I guess it started there. The love of colors and everything. But uh, I guess really being in New York, just seeing people do their shit and just feeling comfortable in what I'm wearing. I got a show called Bodega Talks. You can find that on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all that. And then I also cook at Schmackwich. Over in Ali Ali Market, we do a Wagyu chopped cheese. Pull up if you're around. Sounds dank. Definitely. <laughs> what is something you're grateful for? Having all my senses, you know, being able to walk and talk and stuff, because, you know, not everybody has that, and it can easily be taken for granted. Ooh, that's dope. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Okay, I'm wearing some flood pants from Levi's, um, some ballet flats from Reformation. This is a vintage sweater, I forget where I got it from. Also, a vintage jacket. A little sun pin for the beautiful day that we're having. A Colt Gaia bamboo bag. I see that bag. That's cool with the bamboo. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah. The, honestly, the bamboo I do like not just in summer. I like love mixing the bamboo. Earrings. I think I just got them at a little like flea market. That's where I like get most of my jewelry. Thank you. <laughs> honestly, this is my favorite part of this. So thank you.